So it was, wasn't the same anymore. You didn't have that get up and go. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was, uh, matter of fact, I, I say all the time, somebody told me, when you quit working, I was 85 when I quit working. The last shift I put in, because <laughs> my son had a, a son, he's a doctor now. Okay, my grandson is a doctor. And he was going to Australia for school. So he went to Australia to see the boy. And for a month and some, I work at the store. And every time he goes somewhere, I work at the store. So I work. I work. Uh, I, I, love, I love people. I love people. I love to talk. I love, uh, I love that kind of business. And, uh, but uh, last year, I was 85. Uh, this the roof come down. I, was all, I had all kinds of problems. First, I had the operation of the prostate. Then I was, after that, I was in the hospital for a week, come back, everything okay. One morning I got up, I thought I had to go to the washroom. I said I fell down on the floor, no strength whatsoever. My arm, my, my, I was paralyzed. It was 4.30 in the morning. No telephone outside. I dragged myself from my room to the next room where I have the telephone and all the stuff. I managed to get to the phone and I called for help. Went to the, uh, I thought I had a stroke, but they told me at the hospital, no, no, you were dehydrated. One week in the hospital. I come home, two weeks later, my pulse, my, my, uh, my, my pressure went down back in the hospital. I got better with that, another week, I was sick again. I was in a con a congested heart failure. So I got heart pressure. And then I said to, uh, to me, I said, Richard, time to quit. And that's it. The last year, I finished my job at the restaurant. Now my granddaughter has said a problem, and they have to go away. She goes up and help. And uh, I just stay here. But Sometimes I don't feel good. I feel like doing it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I got up and go, got up and left. <laughs> You've had a very full life, Richard. You, you've done so many wonderful things. And your, your work ethic is unbelievable. The tailoring, you went back to Italy, you came back to the Sioux. How many times did oh, you come uh, I did something I forgot to say. Uh, when I quit the restaurant, to work in the restaurant, as much. When my wife died, after she died, I worked for what, seven, eight years, I was volunteering work for the Cancer Society, at the hospital. So I, I, uh, I was busy, I always busy doing things. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though you're not working at the, the restaurant in the mall, no, I see. No, I, I don't, I can't anymore. No. My resistance are not as much. If I now, if I uh, walk a little bit faster, I have a pain in my chest. Uh, I have cancer that spread in my bones, and uh, well, I'm not I'm not that strong anymore. You've got many wonderful memories of of your life from when you left Italy and when you came here. What do you attribute your work ethic and all the hard times that you've had that you were able to go forward and have a great life and make a good life for your family? Well, the, my, I think the secret was I wasn't afraid to try anything. I was go forward, you know, try. Uh, I got a, something that happened in between. I didn't say it before. When I come back from Italy, naturally I had nothing here, so I come back. I come back by boat. So I had a, just like being a, a tourist in the boat, because you know I've been the past. And uh, I stopped in New York. I had some cousin. I had my family, my father's side, all in, in uh, Connecticut. I had two uncles in there, cousin. Then I've been uh, some of the cousin, a good friend of mine. They come and see me. I went there. The last trip with one of them, we went to Las Vegas together. Oh, good fun, nice bunch of nice guys. So I said, I had two uncles in uh, 
New Haven, Connecticut. This is everybody is talking about the rich uncle in, in America, you know. America with the range of maybe my uncle is very rich, maybe he can help me, you know. I put up some store. So I said, I'm gonna go see them. I had the address. I stopped, I went to the Grand Central Station of New York, I went to New Haven, and I went to my uncle. And I met the wife, called him, rah, 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 rah. you know, a story, make it short. When I left, I, le I left, I gave my uncle some money. I said, hey, uncle, buy some food and some clothes. <laughs> you know, he, he had nothing. <laughs> he drank it all. Oh, uh, well, that was funny. And then from, from, uh, from there, from New York, back in the grandson, then I wanted to have a, uh, I want an experience. I, say, I always heard that a tremendous amount of people at Grand Central Station at 8 o'clock in the morning. So I got the train from New Haven to Grand Central Station 6 o'clock in the morning to see the crowd. So I put myself against the wall at the entrance of the Grand Central Station and I wait. Sure enough, about 7.30 I saw millions. Of, I never saw so many people at one place. <laughs> I was there. That's fantastic. New York is a big city. Yeah. And that was 1963. Not now is more yet. But that was I'm very impressed. So think like that, that. I'm curious, you know, curious. I wanted to go on and see a baseball game because I was a baseball fan. I was a hockey fan. I was I was a soccer fan. I, I was a sport guy, you know. So, but uh, no, I said, I better go back to this world look for a job. <laughs> I got a family coming over. My mother, and my mother says, you going back? I go back with you. And everybody come back with me. And Danny was bad. My son, Danny, the one that, he says, Daddy, he says, I went to Italy. I didn't speak Italian. I had to learn Italian. I wish I was just finished to learn. You took me back to Canada. Now I can't speak English no more. I gotta start looking at it. <laughs> you made a mess of me. <laughs> so I, I experienced a lot of things. You can remember. Uh, it's like, but I, mean, I was in one place all the time. I moved. Mm -hmm. I had a full life. Now I'm uh, close to be uh, 87. I don't regret anything I did. Maybe I didn't do enough. I should have done more. But I didn't have maybe what it takes. But I'm happy with what I did. I did it by myself, whatever I did. It was a full life. I even have time to go dancing sometimes. <laughs>